Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I have a question for you. Are you funny? By that, you know, not you know, funny look. Are, are you funny? Do you have a sense of humor? Because it's been said that everyone's at least a little bit funny, but that's actually really untrue. <laughs> there are lots of people who aren't a bit funny, even when they're, when they're just repeating things that other funny people have said. And then there's Leah Williams, who is so far beyond unfunny that it's truly unfathomable. So one of the cliche boomer things to do, any older generation, hey, my day, do, 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 do. But I've got to say, the self-esteem generation getting into adulthood and writing books, especially comedies, is just so incredibly painful because you've seen that these dear hearts have never, oh my gosh, ever, ever been told they aren't funny. They've never been told, shut up, or shut up's older cousin, shut the hell up, or shut up's World War II era grandfather, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, this is babbling. Wow, wow, wow. So let's dial it back, go back to the cover. This is Gwenpool Strikes Back, number one, unfortunately, of more than one. Um, uh, written by Leia Williams. Who, who's Leia Williams? Oh, who's, well, she's writing like six books this month. Why? Purely on merit and sales, no other reason. And we're going on. Uh, so anyway, Gwenpool Strikes Back is about Gwenpool coming back because they don't want to admit that they don't know how to do her. And she's a low-selling character and she's female. She's on a bunch of merch. People don't really know who she is. They think her she's, I don't know, Deadpool's daughter or something like that. So she's back. She's back. And she's back. And she has a female writer because she has to. She has to. This is 2019. Female characters have to have female writers. That's the rules. I don't ma break them. I don't make them. I would break no no. So Gwenpool had a series that was actually good. Um, and it was written by Christopher Hastings, a man. And he did some, you know, fun, funny breaking the fourth wall thing. Not really that inventive. John Byrne had She She Hulk doing it in like 1988, 89. But it was good writing because they would marry up the uh, LOL, I'm so random with, you know, actual real world, world emotions and drama and humanity. And the jokes were funny. Now, if you're Leo Williams or somebody encapsulating, this is going to blow your freaking mind. Get an older trusted aunt to preferably an older trusted lesbian aunt preferably an older, trusted, um, healthy at any size lesbian aunt, preferably an older, trusted, healthy at every size First Nations um, aunt to explain to you, but um, you're not guaranteed a laugh when you tell a joke. In fact, you're almost kind of guaranteed st statistically the opposite that people are going to have like a, a just a silence or just have like an annoyed face. Uh, being funny, jokes are a gamble. Drama is fairly, you know, easy. Here's a kitten. It's a cute kitten. Oh my God, why is this kitten on a conveyor belt? Oh my gosh, this conveyor belt leading to a bunch of blades. Ah, see, it's that drama is easy. Humor is very, very difficult. And the trick to humor is to realize how funny you are. And if the amount is 0%, don't write a humor book. But if you're, if it's any other percentage, if you're like 5% funny, you just dial it into 5% funny. Now, you, you might say, how can someone do a humor book if only 5% of it is jokes? Well, if they all hit, it's going to be just fine. So this is the opposite. This is like two pages. Oh my gosh. I was in the shade and in the something and the cloud. Like, look at this. This is madness. What, what is this? This is, this is driving me insane. What? <sighs> We're going to move.
Okay, I just moved parking spaces because I was driving me freaking insane. Uh, but anyway, this is the opposite. Like, this is 95... I, I'm not going to say it's 100%. You know, one of the things SJW is like, you said it was 100% on funny, but then you said one of these jokes was good. In the real world, with adults, you know, normal adults talking, they understand that if you say none of this is funny, you mean most of it wasn't funny. Um... But, uh, oh gosh, it just goes on for, oh my gosh. Oh, and look at this. They're on YouTube, and it says, uh, Everything's Wrong by Your Average Net Guy. Oh, you men. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid ass men. So stupid. And then, okay, so there's the ad. Hey, look, here's Spidey's Man. I heard Spidey's Man. Look at that amazing tangent. Just, just plop it right on, just plop it right on the top of her head. Just right there. That is definitely where your knee belongs. Who's who's the editor? Let's go see who, did the, who the editor Oh, I forgot the credits are in some LOL so random place in this awful, awful book. Annalise Bisa and Jordan D. White. Okay, so maybe. Oh, look, she's doing, you know, the, you know, the dance the kids do. They did it five years ago, and then it worked its way, and now, like, old ladies can joke about it. Remember it, that, remember that dead meme from four years ago? Yeah, they're doing that. Ha ha. So here comes Spider-Man. I'm assuming he has a right knee. I can't see it. Let's just assume. Ha ha, her panties fell down because the boat... Yep, yeah, nothing matters. So uh, then we get some... Oh, gosh, just the horribly unfunny jokes. They just keep on coming. And then, uh, I don't know, what else is there? What else is there? There's nothing. She's just babbling like a freaking idiot. Oh, and she she wants, oh, so she wants superpowers because now her, Gwenpool's thing is that she's from our earth. She So she knows that these, she read these comics and then she got into the 616 Marvel Universe and it's kind of changed a little bit here and there, but right now, there's, um, she has to have an interesting storyline or she will go back to her regular universe. Um, it brought up some questions I had, like, don't you want to visit your dad? Um, she had a, a dad, a really good dad. It was kind of weird to have a good father in a book. Uh, so, um, do you maybe want to go visit him or something like that? Like, is he, is he dead? I haven't read all the Gwenpool. Like, what's, shouldn't this, shouldn't you just be trying for like a, like a, uh, Adam Strange or like a John Carter thing like I want to maintain the ability to visit the 616 but just living there all the time and abandoning abandoning your family is kind of weird so she's trying to get superpowers so she's like if I, 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 I need radiation I need superpowers will you kiss me Peter and then he's like what the hell like you're showing my identity and then uh, she's just being like a total twat like she's so unlikable and then she's like what I haven't had this many people giving me the stink eye since I showed my family my senior yearbook photo and then it's her making a stupid face and then ironically pretending to smile and saying the quote she put was don't you hate it when in a public restroom but there's no toilet paper so you have to use your hand Steve Rogers ha 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 like oh so that's who you are like just annoying as hell. <laughs> annoying and unfunny and self-impressed. Oh gosh! So then we just—it just goes on forever. Just, oh, for, I, I would say the one thing that I will give the writer is she has Peter just hating Gwenpool and being incredibly annoyed by her and finding her incredibly unfunny. Um, and, I don't know, i got to skip more. Oh, then there's some problems. All the pages are falling apart. She acts like stuff like this didn't happen, but this stuff happened all the time in the Christopher Hastings book. Uh, so then it ends. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy when this ended. Um, this horrible, horribly, horribly unfunny. Who, does, who the hell do you think you are? Samantha B? Um, so anyway, uh, I just want this thing to be over. I just want it to be over. People have been telling me I'm getting really lazy with the rips. Nice, simple rip. Classic. Always works. It's a real crowd pleaser. Just like your mother. 
Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. And I will have more new comic reviews up later today. Thanks. Bye.